Hello everyone participating in the pool. We take a short break in the action here to honor our former pool champions who are participating this year. And yes, I am wearing the University of Michigan hat in order of Jim McGowan, last year's pool winner, Michigan Wolverines homer. And he sent me this very nice hat. Uh, look at this, pretty cool. This is Michigan on the side, got the big M, got the U of M right there. Pretty sweet. Thank you, Jim, for the nice hat. I do accept hats, by the way, as donations or tips, and you will get some positive run in some of the videos. If you send me hats, thank you again, Robert Katayama, for the Fresno State hat. Uh, we do have Jim, of course, last year's champion, playing again this year. We have Earl Kelly, who won the pool way back in 1996. He is in. Bruce Goodman, our 1998 pool champion, is in. Jeff Nixon. Nostradamus, who won the pool back in 1999. Yes, by the way, that year I did tie Jeff Nixon for the pool championship, uh, and we didn't really have a tiebreaker set up at that point, but Jeff had picked the champion. I had not. That's how far ahead I was before the championship game. He got the champion right. We declared him the pool champion in 1999. Uh, Chris Cooper, our 2001 pool champion, is in once again. Kathleen Woods miraculous pool champion in 2008 is in. Uh, Joe Gianosa, who won the pool in 2011. Yes, that is the year the brackets completely fell apart. And I think VCU made the final four. Butler made the final four. Uh, Joe Gianosa took a flyer on Connecticut because they were hot, even though they were like a seven seed or something like that. And they won the championship, and Joe Gianosa was the pool champion. And Jacob Kinnamore, our 2014 pool champion, is back and playing once again. We also have four two-time champions participating this year. We have Scott Dennis, who won the first Vector Marketing Corporation March Madness Maniacs NCAA basketball pool way back in 1994. And he won again in 2012. We have Chris Heigl who won the pool in 2000 and won again in 2009, probably because Michigan State won the title in those years. Mike Schmid, who won the pool in 2003 and won again in 2010, proving his prowess with a second victory. And then we also have in our pool this year, Rebecca Flowers, who won the pool twice in three years. That is correct with I don't know how many 60 to 80 participants during those years. Rebecca won in 2004 and won again in 2006. Uh, if any of you would like some comedy relief, by the way, look back on my YouTube channel for the cartoon video where I interview Rebecca about her sports picking prowess. Uh, we do have some pretty funny payments that were made, by the way. Uh, Jason Heinrichs uh, paid for the Cutco pool stick and Q, Matt Washington for the March swimming pool purchase, Jake Miser for My Fancy Pearls, Michael Cassetta, his payment was for a Trump donation, and he said, we will make America great again. Chris Heigl paid for something about, posted something about Frankenstein and marsupials or something like that that he's afraid of. I guess he should have been afraid of Blue Raiders. Yes, Chris. Your Spartans went down. And seeing me wear this hat must be giving you pain right now. John Wasserman paid for mad cow supplements. And Miguel Lopez paid for duck poison and two bulgogi bowls. <laughs> Joe Gianosa also paid for the, the, living, the, the Leaving Vivint Award, uh, which was nice. And yes, Joe, you Leaving Vivint brought you back into our pool. Congratulations and thanks for playing. Uh, Chris Oaks posted more fun, okay, longer fun than the same money spent at a strip club. Nice, Chris. And Jacob Kinnamore, of course, donated the extra $1.50, uh, which he wrote in there for Ryan Casey's tight ass. I thought that was pretty funny. I especially thought it was funny until I saw the extra dollar fifty, or before I had seen the extra dollar fifty. Uh, I was wondering exactly what was going on there. That was funny, Jake. Of course, Jason Flynn paid for dead money as he was paying shortly after Michigan State's epic loss on Friday. 
Um, and I appreciate all you guys getting your payments in. The uh, payouts are going to be as follows. We did one extra payment that was secured here. Uh, and so we're going to do, we're going to add 40 bucks to third place. So 1250 for first place, 850 for second place, 640 for third place. And then it's going to go 500 for fourth, 400 for fifth, 300 for sixth, 200 for seventh, 100 for eighth. If there's any chance of you tying for a top eight position as we get down toward the end, please pay attention as I will need your exact score of the championship game. This, the tiebreaker total points you posted on the site is irrelevant as attempting to pick total points as opposed to an actual score is a stupid method of tiebreaker. Although very simple, it is stupid. So uh, we will have an accurate tiebreaker with the actual score of the championship game, both teams score for anybody who might tie for an elite eight spot. So watch for that. By the way, I do own both a Duke and Oregon hat. And so later on today, we're going to have little Kiana pick between the Duke and Oregon hat. So far, she's 100% in choosing hats to see who will win during a major college sporting event. And so we'll give that a shot later on today. I'll post that video um, a little bit later on. It'll be a short one. All right. Enjoy the games on Thursday and Friday, everybody. I'll be back at you guys Friday night. See ya.